Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. He was always a sickly child, sickly and weird. I have no idea why he followed me out to the West. He would have been better off staying at prep school or going to the seminary. I've spent my whole life horsewhipping this scoundrel, but to no avail. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both. As hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. Fine. Come up. Ooh, look there. I got a proper chin. You like that toe rag? Good lord above. Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, give me, me again. Right here. Right here. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I. Oh. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. <laughs> There's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Re Gentlemen. Yes, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. And he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? Partner. Hello, welcome.
Oh, you poor bastard. Good girl. Girl, get it.
Making a point with you, uh, huh? <sighs> Okay, then.
<laughs> Have you come for me? Or was this all nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? You should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice and fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. Ooh. Okay, girl. Get it. this. Found that fella you were looking for. Which fella? Yeah. Put him on the floor and let's take a look at him. Fella been... Been... Well, it ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Uh, head over to the cellar. That broke down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, come on, Eve. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry, Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. Oh, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Oh, 
thank you. Thank you. My lord. What a monster. Uh, well, like I said, have someone head up to his cabin. Uh, I think he killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick bastards out there. Here. Here. Here's some money for your trouble. Thank you, sir. Now we gotta get this body out of here. Oh, Lord! Where's a deputy when you need one? What the...
You are a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? This is getting quite out of hand. Hands? Oh, he doesn't have hands. He's a troll. And that's why we found him here. He escaped from his... Would you tell your talking monkey to go home, please, Helen? He was amusing at first, but now he's really quite tiring. Plus, I do wish they had shaved his palms as well as his face. Be quiet, you hobgoblin. His bottom is bright red, and he mostly eats bananas. You too. Oh! Arthur, how are you? Never better. See, you two haven't changed much. No, he's still a lizard. Coward, gerbil, mommy's boy. Vanity. Effluent discharge. Milk sap. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sap. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. Arthur, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Uh... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me! Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor! Good luck, crazy bastard. Oh, my lord! The fools! The silly fools! I cannot believe they judge this! Come on. Let's go try and find them. Okay, get on your horse. Follow me. They've been carried down a ways. We can't get there from this first path. Do you think they're all right? They might be. You want them to be all right? Of course. Whatever do you mean? I was just thinking. It might be easier for you if only one of them was... Catch my meaning? Sir, that is a terrible thing to say. You got a favorite? I like them both. Equally. Well, maybe fate might help you out. It is not like that, mister. Not like that at all. Sure. We've been. You're the fool, but a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know. You are a lion. Giant. You are an earth shaker. World conqueror. Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys, I, I, good lady, adieu. Bewitch some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought yeah, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! Boys! <sighs> There's quite some suitors you've picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without no, me. Probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. Oh, 
I wasn't trying to lead him on, you know? It was just exciting. The smartest man I knew, with positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah, it's usually the way it works. Good luck.
Anybody here? Hello? If you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I, um... I helped you at the pond. You did? Oh, you did. <laughs> In the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved the biggest problem, and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Well, well it, it is uh, the geometry of life. The, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> There is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solved it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go.
Wonderful! <laughs> I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What well, now? Well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! Missing something. Ah, oh, uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. It's my life's work. It is incredible. Watch. Creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. <laughs> I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh.
Who's your creation now? 